All right, Sven has been kind enough to let me use his tractor. We're going to cut a tree down and show you how profitable this can be. Um, it takes time, though, and there's a lot of bugs that, that are in the, uh, the logging portion of this game. So I'm going to try to find a tree that's easy to access. Uh, this guy looks pretty easy, though he probably will roll down the hill. Let's try to find one that's not going to roll away. Um, so, I, Sven originally purchased the Scorpion, the $300,000 Scorpion, and he purchased a bunch of equipment. And we're going to kind of go over that equipment before we start because there's some major, major issues, bug issues that we're going to have to talk about when dealing with that stuff. Um, here, over here, we have our teleloader. We're going to use this to pick up the tree pieces. So he found the most cost-effective way to do the logging, and it actually makes more money than doing it the expensive way. It's kind of odd. So we're going to pull these out, get them ready. We get to see the... Somebody's blasting music. Uh, all right, so we're going to go in the cabin. This is real cool in here. Look at that. What a nice truck, huh? Yeah, it's all right. I don't care. So we're going to grab the uh, this trailer here. And since I have the mirrors turned off, I can't see what I'm doing, so we have to go outside. But you don't need the dolly for this truck. You only need it if you're using the tractor. So, But you don't even have to have the semi-truck. You just need the trailer. So you can use one of your tractors to pull the trailer around. So these are the three pieces of equipment, along with the chainsaw, that you need to cut a tree down. That's it. You, and you don't need this truck, so really you could get away with, you know, seventeen thousand dollars plus the chainsaw. And let's go ahead and look at our our parts map. I'm going to save the game real quick, in case I click something by mistake. All right, so we're saved, and we're going to go into our menu. Logging equipment, yeah. So, Sven has owned all of this stuff, except for the buffalo. And really, if you have a tractor that can pull this, you've got the buffalo. This is essentially, the buffalo is just a fancy way of doing this. Um, so the Scorpion King, really cool device, freaking huge. But look at the price on that. It's $317,000. What the Scorpion King does is it goes and grabs a tree. It cuts it off at the base. And then it slides the tree through that, that grappler on the front. And it cuts the tree into five meter sections or smaller. Now, one thing to keep in mind, the longer the piece of wood is that you deliver to the, the uh, lumber yard, the more money it's worth. So already the Scorpion King is giving you shorter logs than you can do manually. Five meters is shorter than the back of this trailer. Now, it makes sense because you're fitting that into this trailer, except you've now cut your profits down a bit because you've cut the log in half. You actually will make more money if you use this long trailer and you don't cut the pieces in half. So really, all this gets you is to cut the tree down and move it out of the forest because then you will release the tree and hand cut it down. You can't let it strip the tree because it'll cut the logs, and you don't want it to cut it. If you could take this and strip it, you could then grab a tree, cut it down, drag it out, and strip it, and then let cut it with chainsaws to keep it longer. But it won't do that. <laughs> so <laughs> they need to fix that so that you can strip the tree without cutting the tree because that would then make this more worthwhile. It is hard. Right now, I have to use the teleloader to drag the fallen tree out of the forest, and it is a pain in the butt. This would do a better job gripping the tree and dragging it out, except that it cuts it when you use it. So it's, I'm not spending $300,000 just to drag a tree out. I can do that with the telecutter. It's just a pain. So this unit is very expensive, and it, it's very limited in what it can do. So he, Sven did have this, but he sold it. Once again, this unit, $221,000. If you have a medium-sized tractor, like, the, like this thing doesn't even require any horsepower to operate. So you don't need this. You just need this. It does the exact same thing with the exact same capacity. <laughs> so why would you do this when you could just do this? So you attach this to the back of a tractor. And the other thing that I'm going to point out is when you're done cutting the tree down, you're going to want to grind down the stump. Well, you're going to have to bring a tractor anyway because this does not have a power takeoff to grind stumps. So you might as well just bring a tractor with this on the front and this on the back. <laughs> right? I mean, doesn't that make the most sense? 
But we're going to go even a step farther. You don't need this. Because if you have the teleloader, and that when I keep talking about the teleloader, I'm talking about this guy, the telehandler. If you have this guy, you can just use this attachment to pick up logs. It doesn't do a great job, but it does it enough that you can move them into the truck and keep the longer logs. It's just ridiculous. So where is our where did our loggers go? Here we go. Um, so you don't need this. You don't need this. You don't need this. Now you will if you want to plant trees. You are going to need that. I haven't started planting yet, but I will. Um, on my farm anyway. I don't know about Sven. He might not. We'll have to see. We'll talk to him about it. But you definitely need to, to do that, especially if you're trying to remove a tree that's in the way of your fields when your tractors get stuck. You're going to need a stump grinder. And uh, so we'll go over that operation too. So right now, I think all you need from this list really are these two things. Now, if you want to chip wood, you can buy this Gens. The Gens requires 70 horsepower, so you're going to need a, a smaller tractor. That's, that's below our smallest tractor. But the problem is, if you hop out of the tractor and try to load the wood chipper, and this this is the wrong. Also, look, okay, this breaks trunks. This is incorrect. That's bad. That's bad English right there. It breaks pieces of wood, logs into wood chips. This will not break a trunk into wood chip. Well, it does, but you can't do branches with this. So if you have the reason why there's, I have piles of wood over by Sven's house, or Sven just piles the wood there. <laughs> All right, we'll give up on Sven. The reason why I pile wood there, I'm just pretend like I'm Sven now, um, is because I tried using this to grind the stump, the wood up, and put it in a trailer. And what ends up happening is you can't get the wood into the, the loading platform. Unfortunately, in the picture here, you can't see it. The loading platform's on the other side. There's a conveyor belt that sucks it into a big crusher, and the crusher crushes up the wood and then sprays it out this tube. And if you have a... Uh, one of those green trailers attached to the back, either the small one or the medium-sized one, uh, this will flip around and dump it right into the trailer so you keep your wood chips. That's how you get wood chips. You can only grind down big logs. I may buy it eventually. Maybe, maybe Sven will buy it back later for his farm and do the big logs. But the whole point I wanted to use this for was to clean up the leftover, you know, if you do a maple tree or you do, and we'll get into that in a second too, man. If you cut down one of the oaks, or one of the maple trees, you're going to have a lot of branches. And they're a pain in the butt to pick up, and they're small. And they're going to fall out of the trailer if you try to trailer them. So I thought, oh, I'll just get this grinder to grind them up and put them in the back of my truck, and I'll have my wood chips. But not so. If you put those branches onto the conveyor belt, they bounce out. They won't stay in, even if you hand feed them in. So this would be great if you could use another truck. But as soon as you hop out of the trailer, this thing turns off. Not a trailer. If you jump out of your tractor, which is running this guy, it'll shut off. So you have to be inside this the, the tractor to run the arm on this. It's just it's it kind of works, but you're gonna get about half the branches you put in are gonna work. You have to use the trunk. So you have to use big pieces of wood. And honestly, you make more money with the big pieces when you take them to the, the the logging facility. They want long logs. So why would you break it up if it's if it's worth more money dropping it off? So this, if it worked better and you could use it for branches, it would be great. But because you can't use this with those branches, you got a problem. And that's going to bring us to some logging issues. Let's talk not just that, the failure of the equipment, but there's a weird issue here. And we'll go back to Sven's pickup to take a look, okay? So one of the reasons why I piled these logs over here, these came from an oak tree, like this guy here, maybe a maple. Uh, and I also cut down those birch trees. But as I tried to pick one of these logs up, these other logs would magnet to this log. So no matter what I did, I could not pick up these logs. They would get tangled. They wouldn't fit into the trailer. It, I, I finally gave up. And ended up just shoving them over here. So if you have these smaller trees that are around the fields, they're not worth cutting. And the scorpion king, by the way, the big the big scorpion cutter can't cut these trees down. The scorpion can only do tall, straight trees. So those trees that are over there, those real tall ones, it can do those. It can do the pine trees, but it can't do these oaks and maples and birch trees. So you're kind of you're kind of limited there. It doesn't do everything, and you can cut these down with a chainsaw, but you're gonna end up just piling it because it's such a nightmare to try to load these onto the trailers with any kind of loading device, including the the loading trailers. And once again, 
It's almost impossible to do it with a telehandler. You're not going to do it with that. This trailer will load those little pieces, but it takes forever, and it's a pain in the butt, and half the time they fall back out. So I just, you know, Sven found it a frustrating experience. He gave up and just shoved them into the corner after spending two or three hours trying to get them onto the trailer. So not worth it. So let's go back, and let's go through the steps. So all you're going to need are these th pieces of equipment right here. You're going to need a, a bucket, and I'll show you. You'll find out why you need that in a minute. I didn't bring the stump grinder. We'll do that last. Um, you're going to need your, your telehandler with the, the tree trunk grabber. And you're going to need a semi-truck to put with the trailer to put it in. Or a tractor with the, the Flegel dolly, the dolly XA, and that trailer. So here's the steps. We're going to cut this guy down. You hold down the J key to flip the thing sideways. They don't tell you that anywhere. I had to find that out on my own. So if you press J... N puts it back, J makes it flip sideways. That's how you cut the trees down. And you move it till you see a blue line. That's the lowest I can cut it right there. And you hold down the mouse button and he cuts. Now, funny thing, that if you cut it at an angle, the tree will fall. Right onto my stuff. <laughs> and the tree will roll. Here it goes. Okay, it's not gonna roll. Is it gonna roll? Sometimes roll a long way. Then you just turn your chainsaw back and you run down the length like this and that chops up all these branches. So this is exactly what that Scorpion King does. He just does it faster. But how long did that take? Two minutes? I mean, a minute? That's it. Naked log. <laughs> now, I'm just going to cut this guy in half, and I think that's all we need to do. So Some of them you have to cut into thirds. It depends on how tall the tree is, but you might have to cut them into thirds. But Boop. Cut in half. There's our log. So now... We are going to take this guy down here. He may be able to grab the log. He might not. Sometimes you have to use the tractor, and that's why I have the tractor here. The tractor, aside from running the cutter, the log, or the stump grinder, also sometimes needs to push the log onto the telehandler because the telehandler will not always pick the log up. Now, here's, a, here's another bug with logging, okay? The telehandler, I cannot open the toe, or whatever you call it, the, the grappler. The grappler portion is not available right now. So if I have the tractor selected, I can move the arm up and down. I can move uh, this up and down. I can extend it. But if I try to do the, the handler, the handles, it's no go. So I'm going to have to change my control scheme, I think. But it doesn't work anyway. You have to actually select the implement. <laughs> so now you, I press the G key, and now you can see on my little down in the bottom right there by the, the my fuel indicator... It shows you I've got the tractor, and now I've got that grappler selected. Then I can open it. Isn't that dumb? <laughs> what that, and that's I would consider that a bug. So now i got to go back and to the tractor, and I lower the thing. And that happens to me all the time. I'm like, wait a minute, why isn't this picking it up? Oh, yeah, well, duh. So I'm going to move this forward now. I think I'm grabbing it halfway, but I don't remember exactly where I cut it. I guess we can push it a little bit and see where it moves. Yeah, so that's about the halfway point, but it's lighter on top. So I'm going to try to grab here. But I will not see. I will not be able to pick that up. It's just going to roll. So then, what you do is you hop out, and you're looking at me and thinking this is crazy. But trust me, after it takes about two hours to load, <laughs> not that long, but about ten to fifteen minutes to load up a tree using the other tools. So this is actually the fastest way to do it. So we're going to lower our bucket down. Whoops. There we go. I think the stump is in the way. Yeah, I'm going to have to. Get over here a little bit. Yeah. And we're just going to push this guy up here until it pops on. There we go. It's on. The, there it goes. It's on the telehandler. Boop. Stay on there. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to drop this here. And I'm going to go over and clean this up a little bit. There we go. Now, I'm going to have to select the tool again <laughs> and close the, the tooth. This tooth is worthless, by the way. It's gonna it, the log will probably still be unbalanced and fall out, but whatever. Then I select the tractor. Nope, that's the wrong key. There we go. And I'm gonna put the arm up like this, and let the log settle. And then we're gonna push the arm up like that. Sometimes I can reach them. Sometimes I can't. In this case, I can't. So. 
But whatever, I'm just leaving it. So very carefully, see how the logs are wiggling around? We're gonna move this back. And we're gonna push this out a little bit. I want this to be a little bit longer so I can dump it into the trailer when it comes out. Now, I'm gonna hop out, and usually I have the tractor positioned, but because of this one, I didn't position the tractor, so that's my problem, or the uh, the semi. So we're gonna move this guy up into position. There he goes. So like I said, that's usually already done. I'm gonna take the telehandler, and we're gonna drive this up, and looks like it's gonna fit like a glove. And we're right above it. Does that look right? Yeah, a little bit more. And now I'm going to lower this. <laughs> Carefully, slowly. Okay. Make sure we're clear on the front. Yep, it's all good. And we're going to lower it even more, as much as we can. Can you go see what Ryan's doing? Because Mom's freaking out. And then, whoops, wrong button. See, and I pressed the wrong key, and that's the problem. So it's like, you have to switch back and turn the... It's the same key, so I'm going to release the log. Boom. And that's it. It's loaded. And so now we're going to go back and do this. And we're going to get that other piece. And of course, the semi is right in the way. <laughs> so we'll back him up again and... Now, I could see using the wood chipper to chip that portion of the tree because, you know what, that, that might be easier to do, but even then, it's probably still not going to work. Oh, yeah, and if the log slides, slam on your brakes when you're going forward like that, and it'll slide the log forward all the way. I know it's probably not. See that? It's real sensitive. Like real life? Yeah, no, it's not like real life. It's a little too sensitive. All right. In fact, let's clean this up, too, while we're... So once again, if you use your, your giant, your ginormous thing, you're not going to have to clean those up. But that's the only benefit it gets you if you use the Scorpion King. So, But you're going to make more money this way. And believe me, on the other end, loading these little pieces onto the trailer, this is actually a faster way to do it. So I'm going to lower this, the header down here. The See, and yeah, I won't pick it up, so... And actually, it's going to need to be picked up over here because it's way it's way heavier on this end. All right, so we'll hop out. I'm going to grab our little tractor. Grab his butt. Tractor butt grab. Nah. Yeah, get in my tractor. Oh, I know. We'll get it for you eventually, Sethi. I just got to save up a little bit of money. All right, there's that. So that's on. So in the meantime, let's go ahead and grab the stump grinder. I'm going to pause it. I'm going to run over and grab the stump grinder, and we'll pick up there. Now, the stump grinder is like any of the other um, attachments. It can go on the front or the back. So I'm just going to put it on the back since i am already got the front filled up here uh, with the, the bucket. So we're going to dump this uh, this guy off. Yeah. Boop. And we're going to back in and pick the stump grinder up. And head back. So we're going to head back now. All right. So, to turn the stump grinder on, you press the B key. Now, I have my controls a little bit messed up, so this won't work as fancily as it's supposed to, but I turn the B, press B to turn it on, and I'm going to back it up, and it's going to grind away, and you'll see in a second here, that portion of the stump's missing. Now, I press the H key on mine, but it'll be different on yours, to keep this, to make the stump grinder go down. And you just move it until you see the wood chips going, and then you start pushing it down. And that's it. Voila. The stump is completely gone. No stump. The chains will keep the big chunks from flying out and hurting somebody. So we're done with this tractor. So we're going to park him here. And let's go ahead and get on to the tele telehandler. And we will load that last log up. Yeah, if it hasn't rolled off in the, mean the meantime. All right. So we're going to go ahead and pick the tool. And we're going to close our the finger of life. Or whatever. <laughs> and then we're going to tilt the bucket up. Slowly. Let the log roll into place. It's so it's comfy. And we're going to raise the telehandler. And then we're going to very carefully back up. 
And we're gonna run over and get the uh, the the man. So look at my price right now. I got eighty-four thousand dollars. But we're gonna go deliver these logs. I'm gonna show you how to do that too. It's a very easy way to do that. They, you could take a loader with you and unload them, and it would take like a half an hour, and you'd be doing all kinds of uh, loading. Oops. Oh crap. Oh, you know what? You can do shift tab. No, you can't. <laughs> I'm going too fast. Okay, round the horn. All right, so we're gonna put this guy in position. Now, usually I don't do just one tree. I'll load up a whole bunch of trees. This is silly to be taking one tree down to the to the to the logging camp. But just for the sake of time, we're just going to do the one. So let's go ahead and lower the arm. Oh, oh! When they start to get crooked, that's when you start having problems. So you want to be nice and straight if possible. But oh, okay. <laughs> I know. Yuck. Yeah. Laugh it up, Seth. Laugh it up. Okay. Uh, this is going to seriously unbalance it. And that's where this thing sucks. But, okay, whatever. So now we're going to switch over, and I'm going to undo. Actually, you know what? You probably could undo this first. <gasps> uh, okay, good. Good, good, good. It fell into place. Good. Sometimes that happens. So we'll pull the telehandler back. And let's go ahead and deliver our log. We'll take a little truck ride in the man. Oh, mom. So... The lumber yard on this map is over by the fairgrounds. Um, it's in different place on the on my map, but in Sven's home, it's over here by the medieval fair. You see that log rolling around? Just be careful. You know you don't want to be rocketing around because that will come off. All right. But you can see driving this truck is much more predictable than driving the tractors, where the tractors will jerk around and swing back and forth. This truck steers much more like a real car steers. So, and that's the, you know, in tractors in real life, I've driven them. Obviously, I have a lawn tractor, and my friend has a little, I think it's a Chalmers. It's a really old, like, 1930s tractor. And that thing um, jerks around like crazy. So I think these are pretty real in their handling characteristics, but... This truck is much easier to drive on the open roads than the tractor is, so. With the keyboard, anyway. If you're using a joystick, I'm probably blowing smoke, but. All right, so here's the fair. We're getting close. Um, I mean, there's really nothing going on there, but there's just people walking around. So here we have our road into the, whoops, I missed it. Okay, well, we'll go in the back way. We'll come back the other way. There's a little bridge that you get to cross. It's kind of cool. Uh, you could go in the water. You'll never come back out. You have to reset the truck. <laughs> All right, so our logging camp is up here. I don't know. Yeah, we're getting close now. You just got to find the pond. Now, you put your... Um, your logs get dropped into... I know, Dre's on. Your logs get dropped into this pond. Normally, you'd do a front-end loader, right? But this is a little easier. Just be very careful when you do this because, you know, if you go in, you're going to have to reset. Sometimes you get stuck. But this, this is how I do this. Yep. Just like you'd do a boat launch. <laughs> there goes the one log. Look at that. That was worth like thirty or forty thousand dollars. So I went from eighty-seven thousand up to one hundred and fourteen thousand, and I'm gonna have to reset my truck. I think I went too far in. <gasps> what happens if you drive too deeply into water? So we're gonna have to rescue our truck. <laughs> what happens? I went too far. I've gotten in there before and gotten out four or five times. So we're gonna go. We're gonna reset this back to the farm. <laughs> So be careful because you don't want to. There we go. All right. So they're they're clean and yeah, we can swim. I don't know if you can. Oh no, you look. Oh yeah, you're swimming. Look, we're bouncing. Wee. All right. So our poor tractor. 
here in the states we call them tractor trailers so i keep calling it a tractor but it's actually a prime mover or truck whatever you want to call it <laughs> and that's it for the logging tutorial so that's to me the most the easiest and most profitable way you're not dealing with all those crappy little logs floating all over the place you, you just have your one trailer and your your telehandler and your tractor and you're done it's almost the same amount of equipment, but it costs way less to own that stuff. That stuff is not expensive to own. You know, the total, grand total, is less. If you bought, if you had to buy the telehandler with the attachment and this trailer and the dolly, if you're not going to use this truck, and the uh, cutter and use it with the already tractor, you're still under $200,000. So, you know, or around $200,000. That's much less than the $500,000 it would cost to buy the two, pe the two Ponzi pieces of equipment. So... If you like the equipment, that's fine. Go ahead and buy it. But what I'm telling you is this is just as easy, quote unquote. But it really is just as easy and even somewhat faster. And it costs less money to do. And it's less headache, believe me. It, it's just a real headache trying to get all this stuff to work, all that logging stuff to work right. So this is just seems to be like a faster, better way to do it. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. And uh, see you around Bjorn home here in a little bit. I am going to continue this series here. And then we'll go back to my farm. Uh, but we're going to do a couple more tutorials on planting and crops and grass and silage and all that good stuff. So talk soon. Oh, and I wanted to talk to you, too. I apologize about wood chipping. Why, why, why I don't wood chip. Okay. And I think I talked about this a little bit. But I wanted just to make sure I reiterate this. You can use the wood chipper and make your wood chips. But the bottom line is you get more money for whole logs. Now... The way this game works, usually if it's harder to get, they pay you more. So it would seem like adding that extra step of chipping it would give you more money. But for whatever reason, they've decided to make it so that the uh, wood chipping actually pays less than the easier way of just putting a whole log in. So interesting. This is an addendum to the logging one. You know, sometimes logging is just not worth it. So I've been trying now for 15 minutes to pick this stupid piece up and it keeps slipping out and... You know, it's just really frustrating. I, they need to work on this a little bit so that it works better. If this grabber would just grab a little harder so you don't lose everything. But it just, I don't know. It's a very frustrating experience. This part's not fun. You make good money, but it's not fun. So anyway, hopefully they'll change that. All right, just because I'm super nice and because I made a ton of money, we're going to do some logging. I've bought some equipment here. Um... So I showed you how to do logging the cheapest way possible, or mostly the cheapest way possible. But it has its issues. You can't. It's really hard to load with that loader, and I just was playing around with it more. And as you saw, I was getting frustrated there. So it, it definitely has its drawbacks. So I want to try the middle road again, and, and this time do it with bigger logs. It seems to be, like I said, the trees that are really difficult to work with are like the maple the maple trees and the oak trees, the things that are on your farm, the pine trees, the ones that the scorpion uh, work with, the big the big cutter, that big tree cutter, seem to be the ones that are best suited for farm for like these you know these pine trees up here, and we'll cut some of those down. And, but uh, I'm gonna cut some down from the back back field here. So um, I've already got them cut actually, and we're gonna go back and load up pieces and. So on and so forth. So let's go ahead back there and and get to loading and get to chipping. So I've bought, you know, I already had the log thing. We've bought this log loader cart, which is a pain in the butt to use. Um, it's the same thing that's on the uh, Ponzi um, loader. Then I also bought this uh, this Dutzfar tractor. Uh, this is 263 horsepower. This chipper attachment requires 250. So this was the closest one to it. Uh, and then on top of it, then we have this, uh, this is the trailer the wood chips are going to go into. So we can chip the, the, the small parts that are, are really not very good for, uh, the lumber mill. So we're going to roll these back and I'll catch up with you in a minute. You know, interestingly, this looks just like the Lamborghini. And I wonder if it's a rebranded Lamborghini tractor. The lights are a little different, but the rear lights look exactly like the Lamborghini lights. And it's even got that second seat, just like the Lamborghini. So I wonder if this tractor is basically a rebranded Lamborghini. But it, it probably isn't. But they're just so similar. Pretty cool interior. 
pretty comfortable tractor. All right, so we can see here, here's a shard of tree that the lumber mill's not going to want this for sure. I can guarantee you they're not going to want that piece. So we're going to drive. I probably went a little, I need to get so I'm not on top of it, but there we go. It's going to roll away now. <laughs> and so the other thing we're going to do now, we're going to try to do, uh, let's see, tool selection is going to be G. So let's see, this is kind of a pain to work. It might take me a little while. We're going to turn on the wood crusher. Oh, we need to unfold it first. So X. We'll power it on. And now let's go ahead and activate the crane. This makes it go up and down, left and right. No, not that one. We'll fold that out. All right, and we're going to telescope it out, and then let's see, I think we're right above that, so we're going to make it go down, whoops, and actually we should open it first, so I, I don't, let's see, the open control I think is shift control, there we go, and then this should be the pivot, yep, okay, so. Got that open, we're gonna push that down. And then we're gonna close these uh, claws, just like that. Whoops. <laughs> Ooh. And we're gonna draw this guy back in, all right? And we're gonna lift that up. So first of all, you can see the first issue here. We got a little bit, the camera control is a little bit wo uh, wonky. And can, how do we pivot that? There we go, we're gonna pivot this around, hopefully. And we're going to lift this up and turn around this way. And I'm going to turn the, the help window off. All right, we're going to move this way just a little bit with the camera. And we're going to put this down. <laughs> see, I mean, already you can see this is, it's a cool idea, but the execution is a little bit, there's so many controls. But I guess that's how it really would be, honestly. I mean, that's, you know, I mean... So here, there is no, let's see, we're going to have to push this down and then suck it in somehow. So there we go. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. How do I open the frickin... I gotta open the claw. Open the claw. That claw. Now, will it pull it in on its own? Yeah, but I'm still I'm still in the way here. See, and this is the stuff I'm talking about. So now, it's like magnetized to this thing, and I can't get it to feed. All right, so make it go uh, down, and then left and right. Oh, God. No, down. Okay, left. No. Other, uh. Feed it. And see, it's not feeding in. Like, you have to, like, force it in. It's just, it's, mm, they got to fix this. This, this should, be, like, right now, it should have enough suction that it's going to, ah, dang it. It's a stupido. And not, oh. But you can see it filled up, you know, I mean, it's just, uh, oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> Go back. Okay, there we go. Suck it in. Come on. Suck it in. Suck it in. Oh, my gosh. And so this is the problem. It, it just, it's, it's, it should be intaking that wood, but it's not. So you have to manually go on here and, oh God. <laughs> and there's so many controls and it's just, you know, this reminds me of spin tires with the loader. It's like, and then 
It's like you have to do like control shift alternate left to make it like left shift control right. <laughs> it's just no, I don't want that. I want to roll it. Okay, there we go. All right. And then I want to put it in. No. No. Oh my gosh. You should, this is just a cluster. I mean, this is like a huge disaster. Eat it! <laughs> God. Dang it! So... And this thing cost $88,000, so it ain't cheap, you know? And then, there we go. So we ground up just a little teeny fraction of what we needed to do. I mean, this is like... It's pretty much... And now it's in a position where I'm having a hard time getting to it, so... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh. No, not that. Yeah, that... No, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. This tests my patience, and it's late at night now. I need to go to bed. I got to get up in like five hours. But this is. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Close the freaking teeth. Okay, now pull it up. Push it out. Uh, no, out. No. <sighs> okay. There's only four keys to work with. <laughs> I think probably once... Oh. No, stop it. Once I really learn the controls, this probably will be less, but I don't know. Maybe this will be less of a frustrating experience, but it's still really frustrating. I mean, this is like, okay, pieces, pieces up. We're going to pop this out. We're going to rotate up higher. There we go. And you can't do little motions. Everything's this big sweeping swing, so it's like... At least this grabs onto it, but... Alright, we're going to pivot the head. Oh my gosh, okay, there's the log is on the conveyor. Okay. Now, let's put it down a little bit. And we're going to suck this in. Nope. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Everything is like, it just doesn't, it, oh. <laughs> you've got to be freaking kidding me. I mean, this is like, this is supposed to be easy. Oh no, don't let it go. No. Okay, close. No, don't pivot. Close it. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't. There's too many controls. I can't do it. It won't do it. It will not do what I want it to do. And it's just, it, this is like, I don't know what they were thinking, but to me... I don't know. T to me, this feels broken. This is like... This has potential, but it's really irritating. It's This is like... Not fun. And this is what I was talking about. So, okay. Okay, we got the log in there. Okay, feed it through. Chip it. What? The flip. You, you swallowed it. Chip the freaking log. Oh my god. Okay, 
This is it. This is my last try with this thing. This is why I sold it right away when I got it. I was like, this is not acceptable. This is not fun, and it's and you know the Ponzi is the exact same thing. Those now they don't chip though, but it, it's the exact same problem. Good luck loading small pieces of wood with this thing. You're going to spend 45 minutes trying to load a single piece of wood, and it's going to fall right out. And then you're going to, it's just it's just the controls are just not there. I don't know if they should have put the 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 hatch on the other side, or I I don't know. I don't know what would have fixed this game, but or fixed this portion of the game. But it this is just not. I don't want to say it's not playable because it is playable, but it's not fun for sure. It's it is. This is not fun. This is just aggravation. It makes you want to grit your teeth and go, "What the frick?" Okay, we're getting there. All right, there we go. Okay, so I got the piece, but that's not. It doesn't matter because you can't do anything with the piece once you have it. That's the problem. I've got it. Here we go. This is nice, right? Swirl it. I can twirl it. I can put it, and I can move it around. We're going to bring it around here. We're going to push it down onto the belt. And, okay. And it chips one little teeny bit. And I move it up, and nothing happens. And I try to move it in, and I suck it in. And it just is getting stuck. There's no, it's not, it's not chipping. Chip the thing. Chip it. I, I just, I don't get it. It's, <laughs> is there an angle issue? Maybe if I push this out? Like if I telescope it like this, will that, will that do it? Nope. I, I'm, a, I'm just at a loss. This this does not make sense. This is not... I wish you could just let it go, like so. Here, we'll do this. It now won't let go. Let go. Okay, there we go. And that should just suck it in, and we could, we're done with it. But no, it doesn't work. So to me, this doesn't work. It's great. It's cool. It makes cool chips, but it doesn't. This is non-functional at this point. So what do you do with this then? Then you got you got to drop this piece off. You can't. It's not worth anything. But you still got to. You're still gonna have to pick it up with the other trailer and drop it off because you can't chip it. So uh, this is just stupid. It's broken. Sorry guys. So thank goodness for save games, but that is. <laughs> pretty much where I'm at with the lumber. I mean, I just, I, I don't, it's, it, to me, it's useless. There's no point in even doing it. It's not worth it. So, yeah, well, unfortunately, you're just, you're better off using the telehandler and where I'm trying to see where everything's at here because I had to load an earlier game. But yeah, so I stole the telehandler. So, yeah, I mean, logging is just not... The, logging is to the point in this game where it's just not... It's not fun. This is not a fun activity. This is this is an annoying aggravation. So, anyway. You can make money doing it. If you're willing to put up with the crazy bugs and the weird, freaky stuff that goes on while you're doing it, uh, more power to you. But for as for me, I, I just... I can't handle that kind of irritation. I would rather just save my money and... You know, the silage thing works pretty good and... You know, so far, um, you know, the harvesting works well. The sheep work pretty well. But the logging portion of the game is just not ready yet. It's still I, I would, what I would consider it broken. So, anyway, have a great night, you guys. Hope you enjoyed this logging video. And uh, keep an eye open. I'm also going to be putting up a, in, an info on silage and how to, how to make the silage for the biofuel plant. Uh, not for cattle, but for the plant. So look, here these trees are. These are the ones we were working on. They're back in place, and I'm just going to leave them <laughs> instead of screwing around with them. So uh, we'll be looking at that next. So thank you for watching this video. I wish you know that stuff worked better, but like I said, the, the chipper, that's the worst of them. The loading trailer isn't as bad, uh, the one that you saw there that I had purchased but returned. Um, but it's, it's not good either. So unfortunately, there's no good report there. So... Uh, anyway, uh, see you in the silage or the silage slash biofuel episode. 
and uh, have a good night, you guys. And then eventually we'll be back to my farm in America because my vacation is almost over. Have a great night. Bye.